it starts. Here we go, Mega Man 7. Completely devoid of all of the enhanced gameplay elements and storytelling that we saw in the X-Series, as well as missing the charm and music and all that kind of stuff of the games that came before it, like Mega Man 1 through 6. Here we have a turd fest of a game here. Let's get into this one. You know what everyone wants to see in a Mega Man game? A dialogue-heavy cutscene. Humor, everybody! Aren't you entertained? They got Flip Top Eddie back there. Oh wow, he was like 10 feet away. I will notice the gameplay, I don't know if it is slower or not, but it certainly feels slower. The camera is uh, zoomed in a little bit more than we saw in Mega Man X, and zoomed in a lot more than we had seen in the original Mega Man lineup of games. I mean, the SNES was capable of better graphics and all that kind of stuff than we had seen out of the original NES, but the reality was that it didn't run at a much higher resolution if it ran at a higher resolution at all. I'm not sure about any of that. So, in order to get the more detailed, larger, prettier sprites, you kind of almost always had to increase the size of the sprite. So Mega Man's a lot bigger here, which means he has to be bigger on the screen. He's running in the middle of the screen here. Look at that. So you don't have a lot of time to see what's coming and react to it. So they sort of had to make the game a little bit simpler in order to um, account for all of that. Oh, enemy. Who the hell do you think you are, bro? This is Bass here. I guess he would become a... Uh, uh, more regular. I mean, he's a wily robot, but he's pretending to be good. Bass in trouble. Bass in trouble, I guess you'd have to pronounce it. Super Mario World 2, it's the Yoshi game. He plays Yoshi the entire time. Did I play this one before? I don't remember. I don't think so. I'll check it out after I record this. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Whether you like the art aesthetic or not used in this game, I particularly do not. 
do have to note that it does have a sort of an effective use of the SNES technology, and I believe they actually used a lot of the like enhancement chips that were used in the SNES to create the the graphics of this. Like a lot of use of like um, the Mode 7 graphics. So I, I think like the Super FX chip might have been, been used on this for a lot of like the the scaling and all that kind of stuff. Which means it was an expensive as fuck game when it when it um, was first released. As far as like the platforming aspects, I don't think I don't think it controls quite as well as the say Super Mario World did. And looking at the environment as cool as it may look and as like an improvement purely graphically as compared to say Mario World, we see look at the ground where it's not just completely flat, it has some like bulges and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't, uh, it kind of has this weird effect, like, it's hard to tell exactly where the geometry is and what you're going to be standing on. I mean, you get used to it, of course. And a lot of, like, the blocks have a lot more buttons of animation. Ooh. <laughs> It's just an intro level where they teach you how to do shit. Shy guys, huh? Huh. <laughs> they did improve the... Uh, should I consider that the first level? Damn it, that's... That was really short. That was really short, that's... I don't like the music either. I mean, some people swear by this game, but I really should end the end the episode. Um, people swear by this, game, but um, it's not for this one reason alone. <laughs> That's why. Freaking god awful. You hear that a lot. This was developed by Westward? Oh, The Lion King. 1994, wow, this is a late, uh... It starts. <laughs> this is a late, uh, SNES game here. I don't know, I didn't, as an adult now, I can say I didn't, I don't really give a rat's ass about the Lion King movie. But I have to say, I, I did have a lot of fond memories of playing this game here. Because, I don't, I don't know, just something about, like, the, the controls of it. It controls pretty good. And the various, um, what do you call it, um, the platforming aspects I think are pretty good. Combat's a little weak, but it's going to be in a platform game. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time, though. Pfft, bug exploded. I guess if I be quick about it, I can get past him. Eh, I guess I don't have to go up there. I mean, this was during a time when there were a lot of 2D platformer games. And especially 2D platformer games that were based on movie tie-ins. And, I mean, a lot of people talk about, like, oh, well, um, was it, uh, DuckTales or, or whatever the hell were awesome games. And, I know, this is probably only one, uh, only a few of those that I managed to play. Oh, it's a hyena. I don't remember Simba fighting one of the hyenas when he was a kid, but, uh, whatever. Oh, he's down. Ha, <laughs> he saluted as he went down. Everything the light touches. Is our kingdom. 
Ah, well, there we go. Oh, well, I might as well do this. Ah, crap, I dropped one. 